Right, so this is the bag of gubbins for the legs. There's the feet, the height adjustment bolts, there's some washers to assist the frame going together. Apparently, there they go. The longer bolts are used to attach the frame together and then the shorter ones attach the frame to the top. I'm looking at the instruction book I have to find two accessory hooks that go on the end of the table and the legs when I assemble it. So open this bag there's the two accessory hooks. Right. Put the bags out of the way and let's get going. And seeing I've already dropped these bolts about six times on the floor off camera already and put them all in the magnetic. <laughs> Try. I think you get the idea. I don't know if you can see that. These winding lugs attach at the back with those buckets onto the base. That goes over now you see it doesn't explain but really if I'd have screwed that down first there'd be no way of getting at the holes under there to screw the lug on. So you screw the lug on to the bracket first and then there's some pre-drilled holes at the back. So A's of the 12mm which attach the bracket to the wood. I need a number two. I'm not sure which is a number two. So it's the shorter 12 mil. There we go. Those two in place. And there at the back. Don't know why, I presume it makes sense. Right, I'm looking to put the NVR switch on the frame. And this is what figure seven shows. So the circular red switch is on the right, which upside down means it's on the left. And the two brackets screw up to the table with the 16 mil screws. And then there's some posi drive head nuts or engineering, whatever that screw the, through the lugs on the box to those brackets. Right, so I ended up, I chose that position. Let's see if it works. Ta-da! Well, there was all sorts of little starter screw holes around this area presumably and I think they were arranged so you could actually put this on the end so you, you could reach actually but it's the right way up reach in to the right hand side to tap it on and off I prefer it from the front but there's also other holes which I presume in, are in case the supply chain needs that they put a different box on we'll see so that's that 
have a break for peeing a cup of tea. Catch you in a bit. There we are, turn the right way up with the first fix of the router fence in place. You can't see what that is yet. Right, there we go. Time to start putting everything above the table together. Back again. This blessed iPhone is driving me nuts. It keeps back sinking from the iCloud and then stopping filming when I think it started with an empty hard drive. Anyway, back onto the tabletop assembly. I've messed around for two days and made a dog's dinner about this. Far too many pieces, far too much waffle. So I've binned 40 minutes of clips. You don't want to watch that. I've put you out of my misery. So I'm just going to show you what I've done. I've assembled the front feather board with the long reach T-bolts and the nuts. That goes on the front and holds pieces back that way against the fence. The the miter gauge is a cracky little miter gauge. Although it hasn't got the preset detents, or 22 and a half degrees, 30, 45, 90, it's solid and it doesn't rattle. And when it goes in the T slot, there's absolutely no slop, unlike most ready supplied miter gauges. So I'm dead chuffed with that. The Tabletop insert has a load of little engineering rub screws to level it and then four countersunk Phillips head engineering screws to hold it down, which is good. There's one insert collar in and then there's a whole range from 83. Because don't forget the T11 unlike the T10, will take really big uh, wide router bits. So I can go from 83mm all the way down to 20mm and that stops to fall through the hole in the top. That's good. I've still got to apply the, the self-adhesive measuring strip to the top of the T-track along the back fence. The back fence went together really well with the adjustable white melamine sacrificial fence face. I've behind a, safe, a transparent safety guard I've got another feather board to hold wood down to the table as it goes through. Two long reach knobs just allow me to remove the fence and the 56mm dust extraction at the back. Remains to be seen whether I use that or I use the little clear plastic dust extractor doohickey attachment in the T11 router when it's bolted to the table. That's all well and good. I'm really chuffed with this. 270, 270 pounds or thereabouts, which makes this table comparable to the little tabletop uh, Rutland Lumberjack and Eclipses it. The all-in-ones like I had like some of you got. Uh, so it takes your money, it takes your choice. There's a lot more real estate on this. I'll give you a comparison very quickly. That's the size of the Lumberjack. 600 by 400 compared to the 800 by 600. So quite a bit of real estate on the edge. And then the even smaller metal tabletops are usually about, about a foot deep, 330 deep. And depending on which one you get, it's either 330 by 600 or 330 by 800 but you have to bear in mind on these little ones it's only the middle section that is the cast aluminium and nicely flat and the ends are press metal bolted on so you're constantly worrying about getting it level so that's about it 
that's about as much as I want to waffle on about. Next up will be the T11 router unboxing and maybe fitting it into the table and then a first demonstration cut. Yeah, that's about it. That might be one or it might be two because I've also got the unboxing of the dust extractor which is going to sit between the router table and the bandsaw. So that's a 100 mil exhaust tube for the bandsaw and then I've got to work out some way of reducing that to this. I may get some plumbed in arrangement because I'm going to have the bandsaw, the router table and probably the track saw cutting station along there. But as I say, the rearrangement in the garage is all up to grabs and subject to me moving little cardboard cutouts on the scale drawing. That's about it. I'm still enjoying myself. I hope you're enjoying watching me floundering about. I'm going to crack on for a cup of tea now. Catch you in the next video.